Video shows the devastation in Northern California tonight where a wildfire has exploded near Redding. Video captured by our sister station shows homes burning and the firefight has claimed a life. A bulldozer operator was killed and three more firefighters and civilians have been injured. Thousands of people are being evacuated at this hour. One fire official says the car fire is, quote, taking everything down in its path and it is out of control tonight. Dozens of homes have already been destroyed in the towns of Shasta, Keswick, and Reading. Officials say it's a chaotic scene in Reading because residents there just had very little warning to evacuate. We've been monitoring the live stream from our sister station in Reading and we want to show you that right now. This is a live look from their tower camera and you can see the glow of the fire in the distance. The flames are so close to the station, the station had to be evacuated so the staff there could get to safety. In fact, they just signed off a short time ago. This is just one of two major wildfires in California tonight. The other is in Riverside County. Uh, the Cranston fire is still burning out of control tonight as well. It's destroyed at least five homes and 3,000 people have been forced to evacuate. And now a 32-year-old man is facing felony arson charges. Investigators believe he intentionally set that fire. We'll continue to watch all of these fires and bring you the updates just as soon as we learn more. Soaring temperatures are adding to the fire danger around western Washington. Tonight, fire crews say this brush fire along I-5 during rush hour started at a nearby homeless camp in North Seattle and burning embers flew across traffic to start two more fires. And it's not going to get any easier for fire crews either. There's more hot weather on tap for tomorrow. It's a busy night tonight. We're tracking the latest developments coming in on the feeds. Thomas Joel Marino starts our live team coverage in Northgate where firefighters faced extra challenges battling those flames tonight. Joel? Mary, days of high heat dried out all of the vegetation on this hillside behind me with predictable results once it caught fire. Now it is hard to see in the dark, but that is a blackened mess right now. And these problems might only get worse. What? How does that even happen? This cell phone video gives the frightening perspective drivers saw as they made their way along the interstate. By the time that we were driving past, it was already totally in flames. Leaping flames shot embers into the sky, which drifted across the road to ignite two more fires nearby. The fire was like on the left hand or the right hand side of the freeway and just must have jumped to the other side at some point and then caught flames on the other side. Firefighters used foam and water to knock them down before the fires could threaten any homes, but say these hot days only add to their troubles and often require extra staffing. Everything's preheated, it ignites faster, so it does increase the fatigue on our firefighters. Firefighters found the remnants of a homeless camp, including a small barbecue and say that may be how this started. Now, because of the high heat, firefighters started patrolling the neighborhoods around their stations this week, looking for dry vegetation and asking people to clear it back if it's on private property. Back to you.